Hi guys, welcome to another Funza Academy video. To be honest, I am very excited about this session since it provides us with a very very useful skill. Once you master this trick, you will slowly but surely be able to do mental math. And how cool is that? But first, let's dispel some doubts. Why do I need mental math when I have a calculator? Well, you may have a calculator, but there will be many times when you cannot use it. You might be in an important meeting and need to calculate something. You might be standing at a till, paying your bill and wish to calculate your total. I could give you many many more examples. But more importantly, if you want to be good with numbers, you have to have what many call a good number sense. And for this, you need to look at numbers closely, relate to them, play with them, and mental math helps you achieve this. And you know this as well as me that we deal with numbers daily. So this is a skill worth investing in. And finally, mental math is way cooler than using a calculator, isn't it? All right then, let us continue with our session. A few weeks back, I went to the doctor who charged $35 per visit. The clinic had 6 doctors. So I began thinking, how much did all the doctors make in a day, assuming that they worked 8 hours? I began by calculating the amount for one doctor. So one doctor made 35 times 8 or $280 a day. Calculating this mentally was a bit difficult but not too bad. Okay, so how much did all the doctors make? That would be 280 times 6 or $1680. Now this was a bit tougher and took some more time, but again, it was not that bad. Now I got a bit more adventurous. How much did all the doctors make in 7 days? So that would be 1680 times 7, right? Now suddenly things began to go wrong. I had to remember the number 1680, but I kept forgetting it. My brain had to firstly remember this longer number and secondly focus on multiplying each digit with 7. This was putting pressure on my brain and causing me to forget the number. And how can you multiply when you do not know what to multiply? I realized that this was a common problem when doing mental math. This would also be a problem if you had to remember random alphabets. But if you have a word, things are easier. So see, I had to remember the title of a book, Animal Farm. I could imagine a large farm filled with animals running around and this image would stick in my mind. But doing this is difficult with numbers unless that number reminds us of something. If 1680 was my street number or my car number plate, it would be easy to remember. But in this case, it was not. So, is there any way of associating numbers with images? The good news is that there are a few methods available and many of them have been around for hundreds of years long before we had calculators and computers and one of them is called the number rhyming system so how does it work we have 10 digits right let's associate an image with each of them and to make things easier to remember we associate an image that rhymes with the digit So let's take our first digit which is 1. The image we associate with 1 is the sun. So when you think of 1, an image of the sun should automatically appear in your mind. Here are images for the other 9 digits. Please pause this video and take a few seconds to make them register. Okay, now that we have our images, let's go back and relook at our long number. Now using my images, I have sun, sticks, gate, and snow. Now pause for a few seconds and visualize these images. Now use your imagination. Think of something really wacky. So I imagine the sun looking angrily at me. 
Suddenly the sun starts throwing sticks in my direction. I run towards the gate and open it. But there is a lot of snow in front of the gate so I jump on a snowmobile and zoom away. As you can see I converted these images into a crazy episode. And here is the cool thing. This story sticks in my mind. I do not need to remember the digits. And here is something cooler. If I decide to do my calculation an hour later, I will be easily able to remember the number since I still remember my story. I could also break the story into two parts. The first part has the sun throwing sticks at me. The second part has me getting out of the gate and onto the snowmobile. Then I could take each part and deal with it separately. So 16 times 7 is 112 and 80 times 7, 560. And if I take care of the carried over 5, I can get 11760, which is my final answer. Cool, isn't it? Okay, now let me state some facts. I am no master of this trick, but I have been practicing it for a few days. In the beginning, it was crazy and frustrating. It would take me a few seconds, even more, to convert the numbers to images. And then converting the images to a story took much longer. But after a few days, things began to get a bit better. I also found it fun to create these crazy stories with my images. I also began to create patterns. So 23 automatically reminds me of a shoe with a tree growing out of it and 32 of a tree that is growing shoes instead of fruit. I can also remember numbers seen a few days back which is great. This method however needs practice and lots of it. But the rewards make it all worthwhile. So this brings us to the end of the session guys. I hope you found the introduction useful. Please comment on this video and let me know if you have any tricks of your own. Thanks a lot and all the best.